We're sitting here with Chef Kurt Gutenbrenner in Cafe Sabarski, which is located in the Neue Gallery on the Upper East Side. Kurt, can you tell us about your background? How long have you lived in New York and how did you come here? In 1988, I uh, came to New York and uh, for some reason I just fell in love with this country and I fell in love with this city and, uh, and then started to build uh, my restaurant, Svarze, in 99 in the West Village. With Svarze, I took the classic Austrian cuisine and, and spent it around with my way. My success, I think, here in New York started when nobody knew about Austrian cuisine. German and Austrian cuisine is not only sausage and sauerkraut. Yes, they are part of it, but so is barbecue in the American cuisine. I'm trying to stay very classic with my, um, with my selection of cakes at Cafe Zabarski. I consider Cafe Zabarski as a classic Viennese coffee house. We have, of course, a sucker cake here, a chocolate cake with uh, apricot jam in the middle. Here we have uh, a little berry crumble. You know, when somebody asks me about what is your favorite on the menu, I usually answer, was I have four children and I love them all. And it's really, really hard for me to pick one of these cakes. Now speaking of food, you just finished a cookbook with Rizzoli. Can you tell us about that experience? What it was like adapting these recipes that you learn and that you serve for uh, the home cook audience? I always wanted to make a cookbook. And uh, I always had this, this idea and this vision in mind that I want to show it all. Not only the food, but also what is around. And I knew at this point that it was clear that you know, if I do something like this, I need a partner like Rizzoli, who is uh, uh, doing a lot of art books too. And um, I need the help of uh, Neue Galerie to get all these beautiful pieces in, in the book, you know, just to uh, tell uh, my message, what I, what I, how I feel about Austria and Vienna, how I feel about uh, my food and I do my part to make this a success and I try to, uh, to get everybody together and make something which number one didn't exist before, a book about food, art, decorative art, culture. All my chefs and, 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 and cooks uh, Everybody was working really, really, really hard to make something, I think that something unique. And as you will see in this, it's, uh, I see this as a very simple, uh, sophisticated book. But so in the book, you're representing recipes from each of your restaurants as well. Correct. Three. I always say it's a little bit of Mozart and a little bit of Lou Reed here. This is what I call my way. And I have dishes in there which are so not from Vienna, like a potato rusty with some lobster. Uh, I didn't grow up with lobster. I grew up with potato rusties. And when I do more contemporary dishes, uh, then I always try to keep one element in the dish which has has the base of classic Austrian cuisine. The, the beginning is how do I take a classic recipe and twist it around to be contemporary, still have a connection to, uh, to Austria, to myself, or to, to, to Vienna. And I left many, many dishes alone. I believe that this is such a beautiful dish. I don't think that anybody should play around with it. All this crazy cuisine where people are trying to set things upside down. They are all short-lived if we do not base them on, on a classic. 
I'm trying to give you uh, a cuisine which has a big base of classics, which was for many, many, many years, because of our history, kind of pushed aside. Uh, and it makes me happy that especially young people adapt to the culture, a young audience who says, hey, yeah, this, is, this is something, you know, really, that's, that's cool, that's sexy, that's New York.